Tesla has unveiled the latest generation of its humanoid robot, Optimus Gen 2. The robot is now capable of taking on various tasks to assist humans, marking a new revolution in the field of artificial intelligence. Additionally, Google has introduced a new artificial intelligence that far surpasses ChatGPT by leaps and bounds. Furthermore, the world's first bionic man has learned to control a robotic prosthesis with the power of thought, as well as robots that can replace not only humans. These and other high-tech news are featured in one video. Tesla has unveiled Optimus Gen 2, the new generation of its humanoid robot, which is designed to take on various tasks to assist people. Tesla aims to create a humanoid robot that could be versatile enough to replace human labor. Although many doubt that this is achievable in the short term, the company believes it is possible by leveraging its developments in artificial intelligence from its autonomous vehicle program and expertise in batteries and electric motors. Now all that remains is to give them a humanoid form so that they can replace humans in certain tasks. Earlier Tesla announced that Optimus undergoes comprehensive training using neural networks and can perform new tasks such as autonomously sorting objects. The new version of the robot is now equipped with all the drives and sensors developed by Tesla. The company claims that the new version can now walk 30% faster. Additionally, there is a claimed 10 kilograms weight reduction while simultaneously improving balance. In a video demonstration, Optimus Gen 2 is seen squatting while maintaining balance. One of the most complex parts of a humanoid robot is its hands. They need to be strong enough to handle significant loads and at the same time, precise enough to manipulate fragile objects. The company stated that it plans to start using the robot in its own manufacturing operation soon. Once the robot proves its utility, Tesla plans to begin selling it. Before you is Johnny Matheny, a bionic man who controls a robotic prosthesis with the power of thought. Modern prosthetics have been advancing at incredible rates lately. Not long ago, prosthetics controlled by the power of thought were purely in the realm of fantasy. Now everything has changed, and you can see how people are learning to control such unusual mechanisms that have become an integral part of their own bodies. Johnny Matheny, who lost his arm due to cancer, has since become a pioneer in the field of modular prosthetics. Matheny became the first person to receive an osseo-integrated prosthetic arm, which is implanted directly into the bone of the forearm and uses sensors to detect muscle movements. However, he didn't stop there. Matheny continued to work with researchers on the development and testing of a range of modern prosthetics, including a modular hand that allows him to attach and detach various tools and devices depending on the task at hand. Matheny's ambition to push the boundaries of what is possible possible with prosthetics earned him the nickname Bionic Man. Real-life cyborg stories inspire not only with the incredible feats these people can accomplish, but also challenge our notions of what it means to be human, offering us glimpses into new possibilities for the future. As we continue to develop new technologies to enhance the human body, it's important to remember that these technologies are not just tools for fixing or replacing what's broken, but opportunities for exploration and self-expression. Embracing the cyborg within us, we can begin to redefine what it means to be human and unlock new dimensions of human potential. Google has announced that their new artificial intelligence has surpassed GPT in 57 knowledge domains. A new era of artificial intelligence has begun, and it's the era of Gemini, said Google CEO Sundar Pichai, introducing the large language model Gemini. According to Pichai and Demis Hassabis, the head of Google DeepMind, this is a significant leap forward that will impact all of the company's products without exception. A year ago, OpenAI released ChatGPT, which instantly became a hit in the field of AI. Now Google, which has claimed to be a pioneer in this technology for over 10 years, and which was apparently taken by surprise by the success of GPT, has struck back. The Google team managed to create the first model that achieved 90% on the MMLU test, a massive multitask language understanding test, and outperformed experts in various tasks related to erudition and problem solving, including history, mathematics, law, physics, medicine, and ethics. The model was designed as multimodal from the beginning, meaning it was trained not only on text, but also on audio and video data. While other models, when looking at an image, think about it in words, Gemini notices nuances inherent to the medium. In general, the model's perception extends to touch and tactile feedback, promising capabilities for robotics with the advent of Gemini. Additionally, Gemini can freely program in Java, Python, C++, and Go, and it has already demonstrated how to create websites that dynamically code themselves during use if new features are needed. For the internet, this is an entirely new approach. You start with a single page that gradually evolves into what you actually need. Gemini is not just one language model. There is a lighter version called Gemini Nano, which can be run on Android devices without an internet connection. 
collection. There is a more advanced version, Gemini Pro, which will soon be the foundation for a range of Google AI services, and starting from December 10th, supports the operation of the BART chatbot. An even more powerful version, Gemini Ultra, designed for data centers, is in development and will be released next year. In addition to the BART chatbot, the new Google model already supports some features of the Pixel 8 Pro smartphone. Developers and clients have had access to Gemini Pro through Google Generative AI Studio or Vertex AI in Google Cloud since December 13th. Currently, Gemini is only available in English, but as the model is planned to be integrated into the Google search engine, Chrome browser, advertising products, and more, support for other languages will undoubtedly be added. However, is everything really as perfect as it seems? During the presentation of the Gemini language model, Google showed a video that initially impressed the audience with the AI's capabilities, but the amazement did not last long. According to reports from the media, the tech giant significantly embellished the real capabilities of the neural network. One of the first to point out the discrepancy between the presented material and reality was Bloomberg. According to journalists, Google intentionally omitted a significant part of the process between user queries and the final result. For example, in a segment where the user gestures, Gemini allegedly instantly identifies whether it's a rock, scissors, or paper game. In reality, it's not that simple. To get an accurate answer from the neural network, you must first show it all three gestures and then provide a hint in the form of a leading question. Otherwise, it will simply tell you that it sees a person's hand. According to the investigation results, all the images, text prompts, and responses shown in the video were carefully pre-selected, and the actual query process was greatly shortened for viewers in favor of spectacle and dynamic presentation. Site stands for Autonomous Mobile Robots Designed for Various Material Transportation Needs. The idea behind creating Site was to provide people with the opportunity to safely and efficiently move products and materials within warehouses and factories. The robot autonomously transports materials using sensory capabilities and more, without any additional infrastructure costs. Site is designed to withstand heavy loads, perform the most challenging tasks, and operate in harsh environmental conditions. It is capable of carrying loads up to 500 kilograms and consists of components that adhere to industry standards, ensuring high reliability and significantly reducing maintenance costs. The proactive detection capabilities of SITE not only prevent accidents, but also benefit users by reducing the number of accidents and injuries, as well as lowering compensation expenses in this regard. The robot also helps reduce transportation-related waste, or in other words, operations that do not add value. Robots are capable of replacing not only humans. Elephant Robotics has introduced Mars Cat, a robot cat. Developers claim that it is the world's first bionic cat capable of entertaining and surprising its owner. Mars Cat is fully autonomous, but the key feature is that it is entirely devoid of any external control devices. There is no remote control or app. All the owner needs to do is provide the RoboPet with access to an electrical outlet and engage in interaction. The robotic cat understands some words, reacts to touches, and adjusts its behavior based on the surrounding environment. Write in the comments what you think about the humanoid robot Optimus Gen 2 and its improved capabilities. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel to stay tuned for our upcoming videos and check out our previous episodes. See you later.